Mastering the Art of Polite Interruptions in English Hello, English learners. In this lesson, we are going to focus on a very important part of conversational English, which is polite interruptions. We'll look at how to interrupt someone in a polite way and how to switch topics smoothly. So, get ready to enhance your conversation skills. When we are in a conversation, we sometimes need to interrupt the person we're talking to. Maybe we need to correct something they said, maybe we need to add something to the discussion, or maybe we just need to change the subject. But it's essential to do it politely, respecting the other person's time and attention. So, we use what we call, polite interruptions. There are many ways to politely interrupt someone in English. Here are a few common expressions. Excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt, but if I could just jump in for a second, may I add something here? Remember, tone of voice is as important as the words you choose. Speak with respect, maintain friendly eye contact, and use open body language to make sure your interruption doesn't come off as rude. Let's move on to some role-playing scenarios to practice polite interruptions. Scenario 1. In a meeting. Person A. As I was saying, our sales have. Person B. Excuse me, if I may interrupt. I believe the latest figures show a slight decrease in sales. Scenario 2. In a classroom. Person A. The answer to the equation is 42. Person B, sorry to interrupt, but I think there might be a mistake. Isn't the answer 52? Scenario 3, casual conversation. Person A, and then, we went to the zoo, and we saw, person B. If I could just jump in for a second, I just remembered, did you feed the cat? Each of these scenarios demonstrates a polite way to interrupt a conversation. Notice how the interruption is framed in a way that respects the other person's time and allows for a smooth transition in the conversation. Sometimes, you may want to steer the conversation towards a different topic. Here are some useful phrases to do that politely. By the way, on a different note, that reminds me. Speaking of which, for example, Person A, I've been reading a lot of classic literature recently. Person B, speaking of which, have you seen the latest adaptation of Pride and Prejudice? Mastering the art of polite interruptions can make your conversations in English more natural, respectful, and engaging. Practice these expressions and scenarios and you'll soon find yourself navigating English conversations with confidence and ease. We hope this lesson was helpful and we look forward to helping you with your English learning journey in the next video. Happy learning!